Good morning, ma'am. We welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Would you please introduce yourself by sharing with us your name and where you're from? Yeah, my name is Michelle. I'm coming from Congo. We welcome you. During the course of the service today, at the time of prayer here at Emo Ministries, the man of God, Apostle Stefan, through the special grace of God, located you by word of prophecy. Would you please share with us what that word of prophecy was? It was true. The man of God wants to tell me the truth because he told me that uh, the, there's one of my friends, one of my friends tried to tell me that, uh, give him the prophecy about my breathing, that, oh, you must try to go to the clinic. There's something wrong between you and your man. So I told her that, no, you are lying to me. I cannot do that. There's a person, you went to talk, a lady told you that, hey, I dream about you. And she started conversing with you. It's a lie. That lady who talked to you want to, want to do something wrong with you in that place. He's planning to approach you and do something with you. There's a person here. You went at work. A person, me, I'm seeing a lady telling you, how are you? You know I dream about you. That person is, that, that lady talking that I dream about you is lying to you. He's approaching you. But he want to do something wrong to you. Are you the one? That lady is not good, though. Yeah. That lady is not good. He's planning something. He's approaching you, but he want to knock you down. Mesha, Mesha. So you said, the man of God said a word of prophecy to you that a colleague of yours shared with you a dream that she claimed to have about you regarding your bleeding. For how long have you been bleeding? I've been bleeding now, five months now. And as the man of God said in the prophecy that this period isn't a regular one. Please tell us, your regular period, when did it normally start and how long would it normally last? My normal period used to start on 24. And maybe after maybe five days and then it's finished. But from now, it's starting maybe 16. It doesn't choose any time. I'm tired. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I cannot even imagine. It, it's just coming until when, it, when it's finished. Maybe it can finish maybe two days. Now. After after two days, it start again. So I'm tired about this. I want men of God really. To start yeah. You find a, a, you know your period. You know your period. It come. It come. One day in a normal time. But this month, you have realized that this thing comes without even, it's not in a time. It just appears just like that. That period is not normal. It's an attack. Those, those, those blood is coming. They are stealing blood from you. I repeat again, there's a woman here. You see your, I don't know how you call those things, menstrual, whatever. It will come on the time that you're supposed to come. It's not normal. It's an attack. And as this problem has been tormenting you for the past five months, please share with us how has it affected your marital life? How has it affected your health? Actually, I cannot even having fun with my men from now because we're just sleeping like that because he cannot touch me because I'm breathing. Even it affecting me a lot. My blanket, every time I must wash, every morning I must wash my bed sheet. So I'm tired about that. And due to the excessive bleeding, please tell us how you have been managing the situation. Have you been using regular sanitary pads or have you looked to other means of solution? No, from now I'm tired. Now I'm using the nappy for my baby. Yeah, I'm using now the nappy. I'm using the nappy because now it's too much. It cannot help, but this one it can keep longer and then it cannot even mess my my clothes, yeah, even my, my blanket. So the problem has pushed you to using your child's 
pampers pads instead of the sanitary pads that are used by women during the time of their menstruation. And you're saying that this is because the, the, the blood and the, the period was so excessive. Yeah. All right. And today, as the man of God revealed the source of your problem by the special grace of God, what do you feel now? How do you feel and what do you believe that God is saying about the situation? I believe that I'm here because the time that I stand in this present, I knew that when I'm going to be here, when I go home, something must be changed. I believe that. Amen. We thank God for speaking healing, freedom, and liberty into your life by this word of prophecy. Our word of encouragement to you is that you continue to make the word of the Lord the standard for your life so that everything you have received and shall surely continue to receive from the Lord remain permanent in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.